Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. And this is another video, and for today's video is another Hello Fresh recipe. And what is today's meal is going to be this firecracker meatball. So this looks really delicious. It looks yummy, and I can't wait to try this meal. All right, so let's get started. And all the ingredients are also in this little box here and for the meat or protein we have this ground beef this hello fresh bag here is good for two persons so we have two four six eight ten eleven ingredients to be prepared and let's start right now okay let's open this package or bag the first ingredients that we have here is half cup of jasmine rice and the next one is the panko bread cram and then, okay, we have here onion, green onion, and also we also have here uh, green bean and soy sauce, and also, oops, a uh, hot chili sauce, and what is this? This is mayonnaise, and ooh, <laughs> all right. Okay, so we have a sour cream again. They love sour cream. <laughs> All right, so we have here honey and ginger. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> All right, so let's start preparing this. So let's go to step by step how to cook this recipe or menu. All right, first preparation, which means we are going to prepare and cut all the ingredients, I guess. Preheat the oven for 425 degrees and wash all the ingredients, all right? So, and then we have to trim and thinly slice the scallion. It is going to be only the two ingredients for the preparation. We have to cut this white, separate it, cut it into small pieces, and also we have to cut this ginger in a small slice, all right? All right, so I already washed this, and let's start cutting this, so separate that. Let's cut this into small pieces. We have to do the same to the green one. All right, we're done with the green scallion, and then we are moving on to our ginger. All right, so we are done with our tiny ingredients. <laughs> and the next thing to do now is to make fire cracker sauce. Um, we have here the large bowl, and we are going to combine mayonnaise, sour cream, honey, and two teaspoons of soy sauce. After this, we have to set aside this for later. Okay, let's start that. Actually guys, I am starting liking this HelloFresh because this is for real. You're not gonna waste any ingredient, the excess ingredients that you don't or that you did not use. And also the recipe is really delicious. My husband loves it, I love it. You know, I think it is not going to be below average even you do review of their recipes. Majority of the time, um, the reviews go like from average to top. And uh, the taste is really amazing. That being said, let's move on to the cooking. Okay, so let's prepare. All right, let's cut this mayonnaise. Imagine if you're going to buy the full bottle of mayonnaise and only you can use like this portion. What a waste, right? Unless you're really going to use it every single day. And let's move on to sour cream. Okay, there you have it. And our honey. And two teaspoons of soy sauce. One and two. And then mix this hot sauce and mix it. Make sure that you thoroughly mix this because you don't want to be like there's warm honey in your sauce. This honey is a little bit sticky. There you go. All right, then now moving on to our next step cook the rice. You only have half cup of rice here. This is the jas this is jasmine rice, guys. So in a small pot, combine rice and three four cups of water and big pinch of salt so we have to add salt in that then bring to boil then cover and reduce to slow simmer cook until rice is tender that is for 15 to 18 minutes so keep cover off heat until ready to serve let's do 
that. All right, so we have the jasmine rice here. Screw it there. Three fourth cup of water. There you go. Okay, so let's turn this on. And then we need to add a pinch of salt. There you go. That is going to be 15 minutes. All right, so while waiting, what we need to do right now is to move on to the step four. So that is form meatball. So now we are going to work on the meat. And that is the ground beef. And then we have to use a panko scallion white and ginger and remaining soy sauce and also we have to put some salt all right and pepper then form the meat into 10 to 12 that is 10 24 for four servings but we are doing two servings so that is going to be that is my uh, i'm pulling the meat all right so that is going to be 10 to 12 meatballs that is one and a half inch meatball all right we have to form 10 meatballs let's do that right now okay so let's mix this panko okay there and our white scallion and the remaining soy sauce i think it's just a pinch of salt and pepper there we go our pepper let's mix this and then we have to form meatball now i have new recipe for meatball let to make sure that mix it thoroughly so all the scallion in the the panko crown is mixed. And now we are ready. We have to form 10 to 12 meatballs. All right, so now let's form it. And we are almost done. We have one more. Only one more. All right, guys, so we are done with our meatballs. So the next step now is number four. Five. We have to place the meatballs on one side of the lightly oiled on empty side So this is going to be meatballs on the left and I think um, green beans on the side on the other side And then we have to drizzle oil, salt and pepper So that is four servings divided between two um, sheets And roast meatballs on middle and the green beans should be on the top Rock. I'll just do both in one pan, all right? This needs to be rolled on top rack of the oven until meatballs are cooked through and green beans are brown and tender. So that is going to be 14 to 16 minutes. So that's step number five. Let's do that. Let's put our meatballs here. This looks really good. So this is our green beans here. Okay, let's do that. So we have to drizzle some oil on this, there you go, and then we have to put like salt and pepper. Alright guys, so I did a little mistake here. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I put a salt and pepper all over here. I, guys, you should not do that, okay? You should only put the salt and pepper in this side here because I know this this meatballs here is already seasoned And now I am like thinking here that oh my god, it is going to be salty But the good thing is I just put a little salt because I kind of don't want a lot of salt in our food Because we are taking care of our health Lord willing, it's going to help <laughs> Alright, so don't do that Read the instruction carefully Don't do what I did, alright? Okay, so we are waiting for our oven. This is the second thing. I did not preheat the oven on the first step. So on the first step, just to make it clear, you have to preheat the oven for 425. Yeah, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So I, I am just preheating the oven right now, which is going to add to the time. Honestly, I did not um, time this cooking. It's because the more you talk in the video, it adds more time to the cooking. But this recipe here, menu here, is only for 40 minutes, supposed to be, and 10 minutes prep, all right? So this is 780 calories here, which is good, I guess, all right? Okay, so I'll be back later. Just put this in the oven later once this is preheated and we are moving on to the last step Which is finished and served. That is my favorite step. Alright okay, guys, so the oven beats it means it's ready It's preheated and let's put this over there All right Pot rock 
And then all we need to do is to time that for 14 to 16 minutes. Let's do the timer. Let's do 16 minutes because I put that on the top rock. And now we just have to wait, all right? Oh, I'm so hungry. We just walked in our neighborhood earlier with our dog and it's like so tiring, but it's really like a family time. It's really good time for family to walk. And this is the best uh, day ever, like it's Sunday. Today, it's Sunday and this is always what we want to do. Um, have time for family, which you guys uh, should do too. Like, I mean, I don't force you to do it, but it's, I recommend you to do it because it's healthy for our body, it's healthy for our mind. Every now and then get out of the house, you know, um, feel free and uh, spend time with your kids and your family. Life is so short and just enjoy it, you know. Do whatever you think that you need to do. You don't have to go to schedule. Now that we are, our son is in school, we have to make sure that, I mean, every vacation that he has or scheduled vacation, we need to go somewhere and see the world. That's our thing, okay? So, and also that's the way we expose our kids to other people, to other uh, places, not only um, to our town here, not only to our house. It's just very important. I grew up like that and I want to pass that to my kids to like see other people, other places, not only in our comfort zone. And that is really, really important. It is also um, stress reliever for like parents because imagine you're, you are working and also taking care of your kids every single day, same routine, same things every time it is it is not because you are depressed or it's not because you're like done or or tired of your life it is just because you do this just to kind of um uplift your your uh life a little bit you know like do some other things that is outside of your comfort zone do other things that is making your family alive which is traveling or some other things that you love to do. It's not just traveling, you know, your passion. But if you always constantly do things that, oh, it should be in this thing, in our schedule, it should be this, it should be that, well, then it's up to you. Good luck with that. If that makes you happy, then go for it. Okay. Hello guys, I am back and our meatballs and green beans are ready. It's pretty hot. So now we are ready for step number Six. Let me put this back here. All right, so I already put the rice in the bowl, separate it together because it is going to be for two servings. And now what we have to do is to add meatballs to the rice on top of the rice. So let's do that. So let's divide this. I have to put some for my kids so they can eat it too. Okay, so now what we have to do after is, okay, you notice I only have three here because I am doing portion control. All right. So what we have to do right now is to um, toss the sauce over the meatball. I'm not going to put this with my kids' uh, meal because I don't know if they're gonna like it with the sauce. And then with the sauce and then let's serve the green beans here. There you have it. This is super uh, easy but I don't think the serving is going to be good for my husband. Toss some green onions or green scallop over. And we are done. All right, so this is our serving here. All right guys, so we are done and this is the finished uh, recipe or finished food that we cooked for today. This is our Hello Fresh Firecracker Meatballs with Jasmine Rice. So look at that, it is really delicious, looks delicious, what I can so right now, I can hear it from my husband. If he will see it, it looks good, but it doesn't look enough for my stomach. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look really enough. This is for two servings, but of course I use the four meatballs for my um, kids. But actually the rice is not enough and the green beans, I think. The green beans is enough, but just the rice. If you guys wanna add more rice, I mean, you can go ahead and just cook. It's easy to cook rice but it looks really delicious as if you are going to eat in a gourmet restaurant that's what i can see right now for the final critic and for the final saying for this recipe let's go ahead and try it 
That's, all right guys, so let's try this. This is a firecracker meatball. Firecracker. Oh my god. What? Uh-oh. The meatball is like so good. Oh, okay. The sauce is so good. It is not overwhelming with the mayonnaise, a little mayonnaise. Guys, this is really good. I love it. The only problem here is a very small serving that I know I can hear it from him saying this is not enough for me. <laughs> All right, so but this is really amazing recipe. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm gonna get in. You like the meatball? And this is the type of food that you can only get or eat in a gourmet restaurant or like in a, re a nice dining restaurant. It is really amazing. All right, everyone, and we are done with our dinner, and it's really delicious. I love it. Even my husband loves it. But the serving, like what I said, it's too small for him. For me, I don't. I don't mind it because I'm in portion control diet, but for my kids, they love it too. All right, so this is our video for today. This is the firecracker meatballs, guys. You guys wanna try it, go ahead. And I really recommend this. If you're doing portion control, this is perfect for you. But you know, guys, in HelloFresh app, you know, you can add a, a servings, like for servings of four or for whole family. It's up to you. I just did a two servings, just to try it on. All right, so that's it for today's video, guys, and I hope you guys like it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and click that like button below if you end up liking this video. I hope this video helped you guys for a change on our recipe. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video, which is another recipe of HelloFresh. And like what I said, for you guys not to say that, oh my gosh, Marcel is doing a back-to-back -back video of HelloFresh. This is not sponsored, okay? I'm just doing it, trying their recipes, and I kind of like it. And uh, you're going to expect more videos of recipes from HelloFresh because I ordered two boxes. I have to try it for you guys to know if it's worth it or not. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys stay safe and God bless you all. Bye.